Jim Hongdo, Commoner's Life from the Tip of Brush. Late August in 1781, a cool breeze started to blow already in the early morning. Biolgi, the director of Dohoseo, the official painters of the Joseon court, came before King Zhongzhou and asked, Your Majesty, I plead you grant us a chance this time. Your Majesty has been so busy that us painters could not draw Your Majesty's portrait. Ha 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 if Biolji insists so, I must take time for it. Speaking of, who is going to draw me? When the king permitted him to draw his face, Biolji was ecstatic. He replied in an ecstatic tone. He answered, there are three Huawans, members of the Huaseo, who are the best. They are Han Zhongyu, Xin Han Piong, and Gim Hongdo. Does that mean those three will be drawing my portrait together? Nay, Your Majesty. They shall each sketch the rough. Then Your Majesty may choose one out of them. King Zhongzhou willingly accepted the proposal. A few days passed. It became the first day of September. Zhongzhou and his retainers headed to Yonghuadang, a building in the back garden of Changdeokgung. The Biolje and the three Huawon had been waiting for him. Seeing them, Zhongzhou smiled benevolently and said, You are the best Huawons in Joseon Biolje had been boasting about. Do draw me looking good. Huawens did not know what to do from the king's compliment and joke. We are honored immeasurably, your majesty. We beg for your generosity in tolerating our humble craft. Jungjo roared in laughter as Huawens bowed and sat on a chair that had been prepared by the retainers. Raise your head. You cannot draw a thing like that. Huawens finally relaxed, as Zhongzhou kindly said so. And they started to draw the rough as best as they could. Some time has passed. Then three roughs, the Huawens draw were, placed in front of Zhongzhou. Zhongzhou studied the drawings deliberately, then his gaze lingered upon one place. I see this Hua Won has the best skill. The retainers nodded in agreement. The Hua Won chosen to draw Zheng Zhou was Jim Hongdo. He was 37 years old at the time, and he had been famous for his art since he was young. Jim entered the Hua Seo when he was 11 years old. People who had been watching him could not hide their amazement. This kid is a genius, I tell you, a genius. Yes, he is. I heard that he had never been taught how to draw. How is he so good? Their admiration was not exaggerated. Jim was considered an essential Huawon of Dohuaseo even before he turned 20. One day, Zhongzhou wanted Jim to see him. He had a deep trust in Jim since he drew his portrait to his liking. How have you been lately? I called for you because I wanted to ask you something. There is no need for asking, Your Majesty. A command would suffice. A wall in the palace had been newly lime-washed around that time. Zhongzhou thought Gim could draw a mural on it. It looks clean since it has been lime-washed, but it looks too empty. I want you to draw a mural of Taoist immortals on it. Of course, Your Majesty, I will do my best to fulfill your order. Gim never commented on what Zhongzhou said. He was loyal to him and always confident. As soon as Zhongyou left, he prepared for the mural. He gave directions to 
Gung Nios in Dohuaseo. Follow me with brushes and paints, Gung Nios wondered and asked. Are you drawing a mural right now? Of course, what is there to wait? I already know what His Majesty wants. Gim was not a type to refrain from showing his competence in drawing just because it was for a king's order. He took off his jogori and moved his brush unfalteringly. Waves swelled and Taoist hermits lounged on the blank wall at every stroke. Gung Nios exclaimed as they attended by his side. Wow, Tilda, it feels like I can hear the waves. I know, it looks like the hermits are alive too. Sooner than later, retainers delivered the message to the king that the mural was finished. Zheng Zhou was surprised. The mural is already finished? Zheng Zhou returned to the wall of running, and he was amazed. A mystical world of the Taoist immortal hermits was there on the wall. Jim, who had just put on his Jogorian haste, was standing in front of it. You are miraculous. How did you finish a mural this good in less than half a day? Zhong Zhou realized Jim's genius yet again. Retainers and Gung Yos, who were standing by, were astonished as well. Gim Hongdo is the best Hua Won no matter what. After that, work did not stop coming in for him. He drew numerous pictures while being favored by the king. But Gim had another dream. I don't want to just draw royal portraits or landscapes Yangbun's like. I want to draw the life of common people. Gim wanted to draw the life of commoners, poor but full of shared emotions. Because of that wish, he could leave numerous Pung Sokwas, such as Siodang, Sirium, and Ah Smiti. In those pictures, the lives of commoners are presented intactly. Kids learning to read in a Seodang, men wrestling in the Sirium ring, people forging tools in a smithy, etc. If Kim was interested in accumulating wealth, he could have lived as a wealthy man. Because he was exceptionally talented and favored by the king, but he was only interested in art. I only need enough not to starve. One time the king gave him the position of a hiongam, a prefect, but he was indifferent to it. Oh dear, this is too much for me. I need to quit immediately. Jim was just a natural-born artist. <laughs>